Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Chaser. Today we'll talk about whether Nirvana NFTs are becoming a real thing. Let's get into it. By the summer of 1993, Jesse Froham was part of the NYC photography scene, having shot luminaries such as Run DMC, James Brown, and Spike Lee. Jesse's next assignment found him pointing a lens towards the stratosphere. Kurt Cobain, frontman of Nirvana, the biggest rock star in the world, a reluctant anti-hero for a generation. On that particular afternoon, Cobain was hours late, huddled up in his hotel room. Every passing minute was a blow to Jesse Jesse's ambitions for the shot. Four hours later, what was to be a sprawling Central Park photo shoot had dwindled in scope to stealing 30 minutes in a drab hotel conference room with his two assistants and a Pantax 6-7 camera. When Kurt finally emerged from his hotel room, it was in a shroud of residential catatonia. He broke the silence by asking for a bucket, just in case. There was no time for small talk. There was no need. The photos speak for themselves. Even casual Nirvana fans instinctively recognized the tattered leopard print coat or the pair of white Jackie O sunglasses Kurt wore that day. The a faded nail polish, a dying cigarette. But Froham was drawn to the uneasy balance Kurt wore with his being, playful and unguarded in moments, feigning ballet moves and spraying water out of his mouth. And while Jesse Froham's work features in permanent collections at MMOA, the National Portrait Gallery, the last session has proven to be his definitive work. The last session NFT collection includes images, Polaroids, and contact sheets with Froham's original makeups, some of which have never been seen before. The landmark NFT release offers those who celebrate Kurt's legacy a chance to share ownership of a moment that is etched deeply upon the soul of music and culture. A new set of Nirvana NFTs will be launched next month to make what would have been Kurt Cobain's 55th birthday. The non-fungible tokens will be released on February 20th and will be created from previously unseen photos taken at one of the band's 1991 gigs. The NFT set will be compromised to 28 photos taken by photograph Faith West and will be sold via Pop Legends. The images were taken on October 6, 1991, six days after the release of Nevermind, when Nirvana performed at JC Dobbs in Philadelphia. The price for the Digital pieces begins at $99 and goes up to $250,000. Fans can purchase copies of still images in either black and white or acid washed colors for $99 or pick up artwork created from three of the images for $499. There will be 100 copies available of the NFTs at these price points. At the price here end, the range will include four one-of-a-kind NFTs in GIF form made from 10 never-before-seen images, which come with a framed print of one image signed by West. They will be auctioned off individually, again in black and white or acid washed color versions, with a bidding beginning at 67 Ethereum or $250,000. Proceeds from the sale will go to the LGBTQ nonprofit The Trevor Project and Great Alternatives, which aims to tackle climate change and income inequality. Meanwhile, the man who was photographed as a baby for the artwork of Nirvana's Nevermind has refiled a lawsuit against the band after having the original suit dismissed by a judge. Spencer Alden has alleged the photo and its use was commercial child sexual exploitation and child pornography. The suit was dismissed earlier this month after Spencer Alden's legal team failed to meet a deadline to file an opposition to the Nirvana's estate's request to dismiss the suit. The court said he would be granted one last opportunity to amend his complaint. At the time, it was reported that Nirvana's estate has until January 27th to reply to their filed suit. There's also the Nirvana Fan Club which is made up of limited edition NFTs for fans. According to Pop Legends, 100 lucky fans have the ability to purchase limited edition NFTs. 10 artworks have been crafted from 3 images and will be sold for $499 each. There are also 100 copies of the still images that will be available in both black and white and acid washed colors for $99. Proceeds from the NFTs will be divided between two nonprofits, with half going to the Trevor Project and a part of the remainder to Grid Alternatives. The Trevor Project is a nonprofit assisting at risk LGBTQ youth to prevent suicides. Grid Alternatives brings solar power to working poor families, tackling both climate change and income equality. What do you think about Nirvana NFTs? Tell us in the comments. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos on your screen right now because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.